In this installment of Lobasto's Tech Tips, we'll cover the best way to figure out the proper refrigerant charge after installing our HVAC systems in a vehicle. We'll start with a tie-in system. With a tie-in system, you're going to have to add four additional ounces of PAG oil to the factory charge. Speaking of the factory charge, that's the first piece of information you'll need to know. In this example, the factory charge is 1.9 pounds of refrigerant. Each component in the system will require a certain amount of refrigerant to be added. In this system, the evaporator will require 0.003 pounds of refrigerant. We'll put that over here with the factory charge spec for later. The next consideration is the length of hose used in your installation. We'll add 0.001 pounds per foot of number 10 hose on the vapor side and 0.035 pounds per foot of number 6 hose on the liquid side as an example. Are you ready for some math? Now in our example, we had 28 feet of number 10 hose. So 28 multiplied by 001 gives us 0 0.028 pounds. We also have 10 feet of number 6 line in our installation. Multiplying that out gives us 0.35 pounds. Of so now we'll take those two values and put them over here, and we'll add it all up to figure out our base charge amount. So the math gives us 2.281 pounds, so we'll just round it up to an even 2.3 pounds. But remember, this is just a base charge. You'll adjust this number as needed to achieve 10 to 15 degrees of subcooling. And don't forget to add that PAG oil to the charge. Well, how about an independent system? Well, the same principles apply, so we'll leave the values for the evaporator and the number 10 and number 6 hoses in place. Now an independent system needs 5 ounces of PAG oil, and that will remain a constant with the dependent systems. We're going to start with a base charge specification of 1.2 pounds, and we'll just add this to the stack over here. The condenser holds a little less than a quarter of a pound, so we'll add 0.2 pounds. And we'll add one pound for the receiver dryer. Just like last time, we'll have to figure out our refrigerant quantities based on the length of the hose we've installed. We'll add 0 0.005 pounds of refrigerant per foot of number 8 line on the vapor side. In this example, we installed 20 feet. So the math works out to 0.1 pound of refrigerant. We also have 25 feet of number 12 hose also on the vapor side of the system. We will add 0 0.0015 pounds for each foot. That comes out to 0 0.0375 pounds, so we'll just round that up to 0 0.038. Now we just add that up and we come up with 2.9 pounds of refrigerant and 5 ounces of PAG oil. Remember, this is just a ballpark figure that'll get us close. We will still adjust the refrigerant charge to achieve that 10 to 15 degrees of subcooling. I hope this helps you figure out how to find the proper charge after installing a Wobasto Auxiliary AC or HVAC system. Check back often for more tech tips.